Let me introduce you to one of my favorite ways now to finish a wine glass. I'm gonna show you how to use UV resin bubbles and mica powder to create this look. And Tip is my supervisor today. today because I found these white pool noodles pool noodles at Dollar Tree and the reason I'm excited about this is I'm always forgetting to put a piece of paper towel over my blue pool noodle so that you can see the pretty color so I'm really excited about this white and I need to do a little bit of surgery so so obviously this pool noodle is too small for the wine glass so what I'm going to do is take two pieces sandwich it together squish it in and make it fit Okay, the important thing is that the, the center stays in the center. So the hole stays in the center. What you don't want is the center of the pool noodle to be, you know, off to the side because then your glass is going to be really wonky like a roller coaster, and we don't want that. And that is how you make the glasses fit. I need to give it a good clean. And all I'm going to use is isopropyl alcohol in a pour bottle. And this gets all your residue off from shipping, from being in the store, and then also your hands. Because as you handle these glasses, you're transferring your, you know, fingerprints onto the glass. And that is no bueno. Resin. Resin hates anything that's greasy and oily. I make a lot of wine glasses, but one of my one of my favorite ways to decorate these wine glasses is with what some people are calling the dragon scale method using UV resin. But you apply the UV resin and then you put bubble um, soap bubbles on top. And this is just a mixture of dish soap and water to make bubbles. You take your UV resin curing light and you cure the bubbles on top of the UV resin. I'm going to use a little silicone spatula to spread the resin. I'm going to do it in sections. And I really only want to do um, the very, probably the middle and bottom part of the glass. And I'm going to do four of them. I like making match sets and I also like making multiples. So if I make four, the chances of somebody buying four are pretty good. See, the bubbles are very tiny, tiny bubbles, and that's fine, but I want some that are a little bit bigger. So this is what I've gotten after I have just g given the, the jar a good shake, but I want them to be a little bit bigger. This is a very thin resin, but it's honestly not bad to work with. Kind of work fast though. I'm going to speed up through the curing process because watching my hand for 60 seconds is going to be kind of boring. Oh, yeah. So you can't really see it now, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be better on the next step. I'll show you on the next step. Just make sure it's nice and dry. And then we'll do another layer. Kind of overlapping that first one. that you don't get a seam. I really don't even need a full cure. 
initially. I go ahead and do another one. Just overlapping it, okay? And I'm doing little sections so that I don't have big drips everywhere. I told you that watching the curing parts would be very boring. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through a lot of this because it's just the same repetitive process. You know, doing a section at a time, putting down the UV resin, putting the bubbles, which I am still struggling with. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with the bubbles, but it's hard to get them the right size. I've found that the smaller the bubbles, make a really small, really cute cell, almost like orange peel, it's hard to describe. And then the larger bubbles create these really pretty open cells like honeycomb. They look really, really a lot like honeycomb. And so the size of the bubble, it just depends on the look that you want. You want something that's smaller and more detailed or you want something that's more open and kind of airy, it just depends. And here's, here's what it looks like when the bubbles are curing. So the bubbles themselves don't, don't um, pop unless you have your fan on. And I do keep my fan off because it is going to make your bubbles pop a little bit faster. But this is what it looks like when you have it under the UV resin light. So the bubbles stay put. And what it's doing, it's creating the texture on the, the, UV, the UV resin itself. So I'm gonna finish up this glass real quick by speeding it up because I kind of have a crazy idea for this last one. I think there's a better way of, of doing this. I think there's a better way. I'm always looking for a better way. Not that this is really time consuming or labor intensive, but there just has to be an easier way to, to do this. I wonder if I put turn the, turn the turner on. Spread the UV resin all around and then put the bubbles on it all at once. Would that work? I don't know. I'm gonna try it. I really don't know if this is gonna work or if it's gonna end up being a hot mess, but we're about to find out. All right. Here goes nothing. So far it's working, I think, I hope. That saves so much time. Holy cow, that saves so much time. Yes, 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 yes. Game changer there, baby. A little flat right here um, but I don't care I love it so here's what I'm gonna do now and this is gonna seem weird but UV resin cures in UV light what else has UV light other than a curing light the Sun and what do we have plenty of here in Florida the Sun so I'm unplugging my cup turner and I'm going to take it outside in the sunshine because these are just a little bit sticky and I want to just have them cure completely. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you the next step and you are going to be amazed. I promise. Promise. So these have been curing in the sun outdoors. And they're nice and, I mean, fully cured now. So now I need to sand. And the reason I need to sand is, I don't know if you can see this, but 
every once in a while, do you see this little spot right here? Every once in a while, when the UV resin cures um, under underneath the bubbles, it does make some really sharp, sharp edges. And those are just like little splinters. So we need to sand it smooth because these will stick up and they're quite annoying. So that is what I'm going to do now. And all I'm using is sandpaper. I think this is 320 grit. We're going to give it a light sand. So I'm just going to kind of sand really gently. You can use a sanding block. And all we're going to do is just sand down those rough spots. We're not making it completely smooth. We're just taking away those little burrs. Be careful that you don't scratch the glass. One tiny little piece of one fifth. Don't sand your glass. Just be careful when you're sanding so that you don't hit your glass because it will scratch your glass. So you just want to sand those little burrs down. You're still going to feel the texture. Perfect. Really? Oh, this one's so bad. Let me do this one first. I'm going to show you this one. So to me, it feels, the texture feels kind of like a really rough orange peel. Okay. You can still feel the texture in it, but it's smooth. You don't have any pieces sticking up. This one is really bad. Let me show it to you. This is what I mean about the little burrs. You see that? They're like little sand spurs when you step in the grass and you get sand spurs in your feet. It's real bad. So be careful that you don't run your hand on it while you're sanding. Because let me tell you, it will hurt. Just take your time. Do little bitty areas and we'll be fine. Going to take a brush, a clean brush, just a paint brush, and I'm just gonna dust it off. Okay, I don't want to put alcohol on it. I don't want to spray it with alcohol to get the dust off because the alcohol can react with the resin and it might just soften it so I don't want to do that now you don't want to breathe this dust in for sure um, I have excellent ventilation in my room I have a cross cross ventilation but if you feel like you need to wear a respirator by all means do that I'm not endorsing one way or another you have to do what is best for you everybody's different so you do what is best for you Oh, that one's gonna that, that one's wanting to slip off and it's definitely not centered anymore I can fix it sand out at least on the bottom there okay now, I'm going to show you up close what these look like. So, I don't know if you can really see it with the light, but it's pebbly, and it's textured, and it's really beautiful. It's almost like a crystal. Um, it's almost like crystal. It's beautiful. But, you know, you can't really see the bubbles all that well. You can't really see that texture and that shape. <laughs> But I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how we're going to remedy that. And it is so easy. I'm going to use mica powder on these. I have so many. I have this beautiful Let's Resin Camellia. Camellia? <laughs> Chameleon. <laughs> oh, I haven't done a non-beachy theme in a while. I'm going to try this one. I do have a link to this in 
the description. Look at that. And then just a cheap makeup brush from Dollar Tree. Ooh, that's got some white in it. Hold on. Okay. I'm just going to dab. Take off the excess and watch. Watch. Just kind of gets down in there. Probably need a little bit more than what I did. Do you see how the bubbles are just picking up all that beautiful color? And it's kind of a peachy, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe the color of this one. But oh my goodness gracious. You can do any color you want, like literally any color in mica powder that you want. This thing is driving me bananas. Let's see. See, it's off center. Okay, let's fix it. I'm just going to redo that one. So we want this centered. And I'm going to put it in the glass like that. Much better. All right, let's get back to business. I'm going to put a little bit on my brush. I'm turning it into a swan. Kind of like when I was getting my makeup done this weekend, this past weekend for my daughter's wedding. She treated me to a beautification session. And I had my makeup done. And I felt like a princess. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I know this is not in my, this is definitely not in my normal color palette. And you can put a little bit more. But I just wanted to do something different. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. And that's it. Now, I'm going to do this one. And I'm probably going to do all four glasses. Because like I've said before, I do like making matching sets. So a matching pair or a matching set of four. I really like that. I feel like I need a little bit more on that one maybe. Maybe I just didn't have enough on there. That. How gorgeous is it? It's gorgeous. Rub it in like you're rubbing in lotion. I'm going to put a little more on this one. This is when I need that silicone mat under me. It's just going everywhere. All right, I'm just going to rub it off of the glass just with my brush. A bit of excess there. Okay, and then just wipe it off of the glass. 
is I am going to seal with a coat of resin, so no worries. That is gorgeous. My goodness. A little bit different. Definitely. Out of my color wheel. I love how easily the UV resin bubbles pick up the color of the mica powder. And I've done this, I've done this process before with beachy colors like the blues and um, gold and whatnot. But this is my first time doing this chameleon powder. I really, really love it. it if we do not seal this, it definitely will come off. Mix up 40. 40 milliliters of KS resin liquidy split. That's 40 milliliters. That should be plenty. You can also get this turner on Amazon. I have a link below. It's really well priced. It works great. It's a quad turner and you can control the direction that your glasses turn, which is great. So I really like it. All right, just a little bit on each one, and I'm going to try to get up to the edge, but not so far up on the edge. Um, but I definitely want to seal in all this luscious color and then also seal where the UV resin is on the glass. So in other words, I want a layer of resin, regular resin, on top of the edge of where the UV resin bubbles are. Just to seal it in, make sure we don't have any kind of leakage underneath. I don't think that would be an issue, but um, I don't know. Just to make sure. This is so gorgeous. And this is really, I think all I'm going to do to these glasses is this top coat of resin. I don't really want to add any embellishments. You certainly could if you wanted to. But I think on this set, I'm just going to go in just like this. UV resin bubbles, mica, and top coat. And that's it. Oh, I just wanted something a little simple, very simple. This is definitely going to give that chameleon shimmer in the sun when these are displayed at my booth. These are going to be absolutely gorgeous. My collar is going to pop. I don't I want to make sure that there's not a, a, a very thick layer on top of the UV because I still I still want the texture to come through. I still want to be able to feel the texture of the UV resin bubbles. I just think that is so important to this technique. 
to be able to feel those bubbles. Make sure my top edge is seen. Hmm. All right, I'm going to put just pop the bubbles with low heat and high air. This is fast set resin. My piece of glitter in there. How'd that get there? This is fast set resin. So it's going to be dry to the touch in two hours and appeared in four. I can take them off the turner. So got to wait it out. A little stray piece of glitter. Just look at how much these shine in the sun. Can you see the different shades in this chameleon powder? It is absolutely amazing. And I normally have a lot of sun in my booth, uh, you know, that shines in just throughout the day, even though I have a tent, the sun still comes in. These are going to draw in the crowd like crazy. Look at the different colors. It is just, it is just insane. I'm really wanting to try out different colors of chameleon powder. I'm not sure how many there are. Tip is not impressed with this whole process at all but he is cute to look at. So let me know what you think. Are you gonna give this a try? And yes, I know I have fingerprints on the tops of the glasses. I will clean that off before I put these in my art show booth. So let me know what you think. Are you gonna try it? I hope so. Happy crafting. Bye friends.